Hello there guys, we are back in Time Quest Let's Play. So, last episode we've updated the main quest when we've defeated the Grey Sisters. So now we've got to be going to Medea and giving her the the eye that they that they had. Not since Perseus has a hero wrested the eye away from the weird sisters. Indeed. Right, so now... I quite like this effect actually. If you actually look closely there, it's like, it's pretty cool. You can see all this stuff, where you're gonna be, some areas of the underworld. Yep, and now she's gonna open a portal, which you're gonna go through, to get to the next area. Yep, so we've, we've updated our road to Hades, that's the next main quest. And as a reward for this quest, we've got this scroll of Cyclops, which summons the Cyclops to aid you in a battle. So, we're just gonna save it up for later. And we'll stick it on our second hotbar, on this slot here, just so that we don't accidentally press it. Alright, let's get going to Epirus. Cheers, Medea. See you later. Alright, Epirus, refugee camp. So... Yeah, there's a bunch of people. There's a bunch of people quest givers. Some update the main quest, others give side quests. So we're gonna, gonna touch the portal as well. Right, and uh, take care of these Lamias so that these guys don't steal our kills. Alright, and there's a rebirth found here, there's a merchant. And there's a couple of more quest givers around here. Actually, no, not, not a couple, just one actually. Yeah. Alright, when did we get three quests? We've got Among the Ruins, we've got the Enemy's Captain, we've got the Dangerous Mission. We've got three side quests. Huh, alright. Perhaps all three of those give different side quests then. Alright. This, this and. Those pale and there wasn't. Nothing too substantial at the merchants. Those pale marauders he was talking about, I believe he was talking about the Karis, which the Karis monsters, which we're gonna fight once we get into the the ruined city. They're not actually out here. In here, we just mostly get Lamias and undead. In fact, there's so many undead. I'd actually say this is when you really want to switch on all your anti-undead skills and equip your anti-undead gear, because. This whole place is like a graveyard, and there's also a crypt that we're gonna explore in a sec. See around here, it's a graveyard area. So we're gonna venture into it. See, there's a bunch of there's liches. The, there are a few blightcasters as well here. The zombie blightcasters. We haven't come across them yet. Yeah, you see undead of all kinds, skeletons, lost souls, you name it. They're popping out from every corner, really. So it's like, you don't really have to do all this, you know, this is all optional. If you want to get straight to the next area, you just go along the main road, which you can see just at the top there. But uh, it's quite nice to explore, you know, these areas and kill these guys. Not kill them, because they're already dead, but, you know, put them down. Ah, one of the guards actually managed to kill one of the skeletons. Okay, spectral matter. And some gold. Alright. We shall kill all these guys first, so that we can... Then, once we get a little breather, then we'll actually check what we've got. And that's one of the zombie blightcasters. It's a putrescent, put putrescent zombie. Gosh. And that one is actually going to be one of the hostages that we're going to rescue later. So don't worry about that yet. Okay, just going to keep exploring. And here we go, Essence of Cunning of Odysseus. And this is our second piece of that, actually. So we're gonna combine it with the first one, right here. And where's our Spectral Matter? There it is. Combine that as well. Got quite a lot of Spectral Matter in our inventory. Alrighty, so... Yeah, just gonna keep exploring. This, see, this area is quite repetitive. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just speed up all these parts. A storm surge is actually pretty good. It kicks in quite often, 
So you see, Storm Surge is a very useful skill. Because even if the enemies are resistant to stun, so, you know, at the very least, it'll it'll just stun them for like a split second. You know, that's already good enough to give you a chance to you know heal up or run away or something, or to get a head start. You know. All right, so we explored this whole area. This is more like a round kind of. And here we've got an entrance into one of the crypts. Just gonna take care of that. There's nothing more over here. Alright, let's go in then. Osuri of the Thesproti. Osuri of the Thesproti, that's... It's quite a mouthful, I have to say. Osuri of the Thesproti. Wow, I mean, that's quite a name, isn't it? Okay. Just gonna take care of these guys. Like I said, this script is quite optional as well. There's actually nothing substantial here. There are no si none of the side quests that we've been given are actually around here. And there isn't any boss or side quest monster here either. So this is just like, literally just, if you want to kill someone dead, just come here. You know, if you just want to loot some sepulchers. It's a pretty nice area actually. Like, I like the mist. It looks quite climatic. And, well, that was just really weird. How that undead just died just before we could shield charge him. He either died by damage reflection or by squall. Not entirely sure which which one. Okay, so there's also an upstairs floor. Once again, just undead here. Nothing too much really. Oh, how dare you. Just casting plague on us before we even engaged in combat. Yeah, squall is really nice for these for these guys. You know, just because these undead, they always get packed in, packed in a small area, so you just do one squall and just really softens them all up. Nothing else in this room, so check out the next few rooms. Yeah, these lost souls are actually not that tough, you know, a lot of the time one or two hits just kill them. Right, so we've got the arcane formula there. I'm gonna check it out, Fury of the Ages. It's one of the greater artifacts, it's not too bad actually, gives a bit of resistances, some attack speed, some avoid projectile chance, we don't have any of its ingredients however, so yeah, not really gonna bother to be honest. Yeah, perhaps the, ni the nicest, in my opinion, the nicest, and we don't really have another Monkey King's trickery do we? No, never mind, wait, and that zip pocket isn't open. Yeah, I think, in my opinion, the nicest greater artifact is symbol of the polymath. That's in my opinion, because it gives some really good stats, like percentage stats, to pretty much all your basic attributes and some other statistics. It's very nice. It doesn't give any of those, it doesn't grant any of those weird skills. But you know, you don't necessarily need those. You just need some good stats, good stat bonuses, and symbol of the polymath is quite nice. Okay. Got a random majestic chest here. What have you got for us? Nothing. What's this helmet? Hmm, fire resistance, not too bad. And you. Took him a while to get to us. Right, we're gonna just quickly backtrack out of this crypt. Alright, so we're back outside. We're now gonna get going with the main quest. And go to the area we're supposed to be going. And I have no idea how I missed these guys. I was pretty sure I've explored the whole area. Okay, so it's just this way. And in here, as soon as you come in, there's an update to one of the side quests. These strange soldiers are everywhere. There we go, it's nice to have a rebirth fountain there. Right, so it's updated our quest among the ruins. This guy set up basically these hostages basically in the ruins. So you go gotta go and rescue all the people, all the innocent people. But to rescue them, what you have to do is basically to kill the group of monsters which are guarding them. You don't actually physically rescue the people. So here, see these five carries are glowing. So you just have to kill these five in order to rescue the hostage here. There, see? This woman just ran off, so she's safe. And you gotta do the same with another, like, four or five. And we just got some bow. These carries, they do drop quite a fair bit of green gear. So they are a f somewhat good farming spot for green gear. See there's another group over here. 
Unless you take care of them. So that guy's still alive. There we go, that's like three hostages there. You can't carry anymore. Alright, so uh, these guys are already engaging us here. I've heard there's apparently some bug sometimes happens with this quest. Like sometimes, or at least that's what I read on the forums ages ago, I remember. Sometimes the quest doesn't update once you've killed all these. I think it might be a possibility that one of these quest related carriers just gets stuck somewhere, perhaps. Or something like that. And so you, if you don't kill them all, the quest doesn't get updated. So you have to kill every single one of them. See, not, not these ones, not the ones which don't glow, it's the ones who are glowing. See the one on the left there, that one isn't glowing. But these down here, they are. So they're quest related. See, we rescued this hostage as well. And this just leaves us. See all the hostages piling up there, but it doesn't matter if they're not going all the way back. See, we've got just a couple more over there. So we're just gonna kill these enemies. And once we do. There we go, these two hostages, they ran back. And the quest update automatically, see the hostages, they don't, don't necessarily have to get back. They can get stuck, they can do whatever they want, they can just, you know, jump off a cliff right now. But you've done your job, you, you've killed all the carriers, and you've, you've rescued the hostages. You no so now you can speak to the captain again, the guy who updated the quest just at the, at the entrance. See, and as soon as you come in, all the hostages just run, run in with you. I'm gonna take care of these two. Right. So now you can tell the captain that you've done you've done them a favor. Thank you for helping with our flight. I will see no problemo, man. No problemo. Right. So completed among the ruins side quest. Well, it wasn't that easy. All right, and we got jewel of dexterity for it, which is that, which isn't all that great. I'm pretty sure we had something better. Never mind. We shall stop around here because there's quite a lot more to explore of the city. So we've got the rebirth panel here. So I'll stop this episode here and we'll continue later on through there in the next episode so i'll see you guys later bye bye